The first few months were wonderful. Everyone was really nice. Including Andy Park? Andy was a good friend. I'd stop by his cubicle if I had a question or just to say hi. I don't normally friend request people on Facebook from work, but Andy was different. So you liked Andy? I thought he was cute. And it seemed like he felt the same way about me. I caught him looking at me more than a couple times. Can you describe the events of October 20th? Yeah, we all went out to a bar to celebrate the completion of a year and a half long project led by Andy. It was six months overdue, but it did come out extremely well. One more, please. Oh, yeah, one more here. Oh, one more. Were you intoxicated? I was tipsy, which is probably why I approached Andy. Hey, congratulations. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> so, um, how come this is the first time we've been out together? I don't know, I guess this is the first work get-together we've both been at. <laughs> Why does it always have to be about work? I don't know. Do you think maybe the two of us should go out sometime? He said he didn't dip his pen in company ink. I was humiliated and too drunk to drive. My supervisor, Tim, was already driving our visiting European colleague, Irene, back to her hotel, so he offered me a ride home. After we dropped off Irene at her hotel, Tim asked me to sit up front with him. Come on, hop up front. I'm not a cab driver. Okay, all set? Mm hmm By the time we got to my place, we had already gotten to talking, and I was still really upset about what happened with Andy. I just I feel so stupid. I, I just, I thought he liked me. Well, of course he liked you. We all like you. I think you're great. Oh, thank you. You're, you're a great boss. <laughs> you're so pretty, I don't know why you wouldn't be interested. Thanks, that's, that's sweet. You're sweet too. We kissed, but that was it. We shouldn't be doing this. I, I I've, had, I've had too much to drink. You're right. And, I'm um, sorry. I, you're my boss. I knew it was a mistake as soon as it happened, and I kind of hoped it would just go away, but Tim wouldn't let it go. Hey, Sarah. Hi. About last night. Oh, well, thank you for trying to make me feel better. Oh, thank you for trying to make me feel better. <laughs> I, you know, I think we both know that what happened just, it, it wasn't right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why is it that so many things that are wrong feel so darn good? <laughs> Do you ever want to talk again? I want you to know I'm here for you. I'd like to see you get ahead. Would you say you welcomed Tim's advances? I wouldn't say I was as interested as he was, but I didn't want to hurt his feelings. The problem was that when I got a promotion, people started making these unfounded assumptions about my working relationship with Tim, assumptions that undermined my ability to do my job. Andy, I just heard from Roland that the guys working on the Thompson project aren't following the process I instituted. Really? Uh, well... And I... they told me that you told them not to. Look, Sarah, I know you just got promoted, so you think you need to make changes to justify your new position, but there's no need to mess with success. Success? <laughs> if your way was so successful, don't you think that maybe you would have gotten promoted instead? Uh, perhaps, or maybe I should spend less time on my work output and more time putting out. Excuse me? Come on, Sarah, don't act like we don't know how you are. You were all over me when you first got here, and then when I turned you down, you threw yourself at Tim. 
I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I got that promotion through hard work and determination at a place where very few women get to my level of management. But there are those who still treat me like a scheming opportunist, thanks to the rumors started by people like Andy Park. And what did happen the night of October 20th? I celebrated the completion of a key project with some of my colleagues at a local pub. Thought everybody needed to go out and have some fun. Would it be fair to say that people were consuming a lot of alcohol? Yes, but it was a particularly long and demanding project. People needed to let off steam. I, of course, agreed to serve as the designated driver. I'd already agreed to drive Irene back to her hotel, but ended up driving Sarah home as well, since she was in no shape to drive. And what happened when you arrived at Sarah's apartment? I knew that Sarah liked Andy. I feel so stupid. I, I thought he liked me. Of course he liked you. We all like you. I think you're great. Thank you. You're, you're a great boss. I mean, you're so pretty, I don't know why he wouldn't be interested. Thanks, you're sweet. We kissed, but that was it. Look, we shouldn't be doing this. I, I'm your boss. But I... Look, it, it, I, it's just not right. I mean, I'm flattered and all, but uh, it's not appropriate. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> she was obviously impaired, and she took my kindness to mean something more. Something more? Like... An offer of promotion in return for a romantic relationship? No, that's not true. I may have made some jokes that I shouldn't have made. Jokes of a sexual nature? Yes, but after that night in the car, I wanted to make light of an awkward situation to remove the stigma. Listen, Sarah is a tremendous asset to this company, and she deserves every accolade she's received and any claims that she's moving ahead due to a sexual relationship with me are unfounded and quite frankly a result of sour grapes roland please recount the events of september 17. i was doing inventory and uh, i had stopped to inspect some machinery nearby Andy was entertaining the guys, as he often does when he comes around. I don't normally eavesdrop on their conversations, but this one caught my attention. What were they talking about? Sarah Harper. And she was relatively new at the time. It was her first visit to the factory, I guess. And so the guys... Mm. Is that how all the girls dress at the office? If so, I'm in the long line of work. Me too. We're supposed to look professional, you know, not like a professional. <laughs> I'm serious. You should dress more conservatively. What, are you gay? Because you sound kind of gay. <laughs> no, trust me, you should check out her Facebook page. It's way too risque for a corporate chick. I can't take her seriously. Man, forget trying to take her seriously, man. I just want to get her back to the room. <laughs> like a <laughs> get up there, get all the <laughs> you know, just get a <laughs> get it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's enough. This ain't no boys' locker room. It's a workplace. The girl can show some respect. Oh, come on, boss. Like you say no to that if you had the chance. And some Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, sir. Get back to work. You got it, Gramps. What? Oh. Yo, man, I think Roland's been working for the man so long, he forgot he wanted us. Did any of these guys heed your advice? No, they did not. It's hard to teach your employees about respect for others when they don't respect you. And the rumors about Ms. Harper's alleged affair with her supervisor made it all worse. Then she got promoted, started coming down to the factory more often. She had to have heard what they were saying about her, but I don't think it mattered. 
she had her own reasons for not liking him. You got this? You got this right here? Roland, do you have a sack? Uh, actually, I'm kind of busy right now. Could we talk in about an hour? How about now? Okay, let's talk. I just got the report on the Thompson Project. Your men are cutting corners. This is not the process that I detailed. Uh, Andy said we didn't have to do all that. He was concerned that the extra steps might slow down production. Really? Andy said that. Well, now he just slowed you down even more because you have work to redo. Are you serious? Just do it, okay? Look, what Andy fails to realize is that these steps will create efficiencies in the long run. We're not at all where we need to be on this project. Well, have you talked to Andy? It is his project. Oh, yes, according to Andy, we're right on schedule. But I know he's just padding time for his homies over there. I don't think that's appropriate. Look, you and I both know that they could be working a lot harder and a lot faster than they are. I do think they work pretty hard. You don't have to defend them just because they're brothers, okay? You're one of the good ones. Don't let them drag you down. All right, guys, let's get back to it. The powers that be want us to get this done quicker, so let's knuckle down and get it done, all right? Yes, sir, Massa. Look, some of this stuff gets to me. But it's the way things are around here. I should have reported, sir, to HR. But seeing what Andy was going through with Sarah getting his promotion and all, I've heard the rumors about Tim and Sarah. I was concerned that if I brought it up to management, it could make problems for me. I'm trying to put my kids through college. I just took a second mortgage out on my house. I can't lose my job. Good, Irene, please tell us about the night, October 20th. I had gone out with the team to celebrate the completion of the Axel Dean project. Our companies had recently merged and I was sent over to familiarize myself with the operations here. Did anything of interest occur that night? Yes, Sarah had had too much to drink. So Mr. Jeffers offered to drive us both. He had already agreed to bring me to the hotel, where he dropped me off first. Show sure you all right, Sarah? Oh, yeah, and I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Don't worry. She's in good hands. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. Excuse me? It's a, it's a song. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. Never heard of it. Me neither. Well, thanks, both of you, for making me feel old. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you. When I looked back, Sarah was getting into the front passenger seat, which worried me. And with good reason. The next day, Sarah confided in me that Mr. Jeffers had tried to kiss her after dropping me off. She said he had forced himself on her. I told her we should go to HR immediately about this. She did not want to. She said she was afraid of the perceptions others might have of her, and she didn't want to lose her job. So she made me promise not to say anything. She said she just wanted it all to go away. I mean, I was drunk, you know? I don't even totally remember what happened. So I just, it's better that way, right? If we just act like nothing happened and, and you know what? Um, for, forget I haven't said anything. Okay. Thank you. No. Thank you. At Tim's recommendation, Sarah was promoted a couple of months later. I continued my work as usual, but I did notice that there were hostilities related to Sarah's promotion. One day, when I was visiting the factory, talking with the plant supervisor, and... What's going on here? Hi. Irene's showing me how they do things in Europe. So you're helping her figure out how to improve their process? Actually, my hope was that it would help in fixing yours. Really? I thought we pushed out more units than the European factories. Yes, but... Well, maybe you should learn the American way then. <laughs> uh, our quality standards are much higher. 
Uh, I've spoken with Tim, and he believes that there are areas in which I can really You be went to Tim? You never even came to me, you just went straight to Tim? I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Oh no, if you want to get ahead at this place, Tim's your man. He will say or do anything for a pretty lady. But well, what are you talking about? Is this about Sarah? I busted my tail here for eight years, and Sarah, who's less qualified and hasn't even been here eight months, gets my promotion. Why? Because she looks great in a dress? I could not believe the disrespect with which he spoke. I had seen this behavior back home, but I hoped it would be different here. Now, I knew that this behavior was inappropriate and that I should go to human resources. But it is easier to say than to do. Now, thankfully, I decided to do the right thing and I reported it. When she first started, yes, I'll admit, I thought Sarah was pretty, but that doesn't really mean anything. Over time, I could tell she just wasn't professional. She didn't understand boundaries. Um, I tried to be friendly. She sent me a friend request on Facebook and I accepted. Although when I saw her page, it just wasn't appropriate. I, she had information there I didn't want to know, lewd pictures, stories about her dating relationships. Over time, I knew I had to be careful with her. I didn't want to lead her on in any way. I could tell she was um, a little wild. She, uh, she'd come over to my desk repeatedly. It got to the point where it was hard to get any work done. Hey, you. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? Better now that I'm talking to you, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I'm still just getting up to speed with everything, you know? Mm. Ugh, those reports are brutal, huh? I can think of worse things. <laughs> I tried to be friendly, but sometimes I think she couldn't tell the difference between being friendly and being inappropriate. And can you describe for us the events of October 20th? We were all out celebrating the completion of a project I led. Sarah was very drunk. Uh, she tried to make a pass at me, but I made it clear I wasn't interested. I don't date co-workers. Let's just keep it professional and be friends. Mm, friends. Mm hmm Benefits? The way I heard it, Sarah and Tim hooked up that night. And how did things go after that? It seemed like Sarah found her footing at the company. She started getting treated like a real star. I actually got assigned to manage a project based on one of her ideas, but it felt like Sarah was going out of her way to sabotage my timeline. I felt like I, I couldn't say anything to anyone. I didn't want to mess with the boss's girlfriend. And then Sarah got the promotion to product manager instead of me. I couldn't believe it. Hi. So I hear you got promoted. Mm-hmm, yeah, I guess all that hard work finally paid off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, is something funny? No, nothing funny at all. Look, Andy, I, I know you're jealous, but I guess Tim just felt that my best qualities outweigh yours. You know we all know why you got this promotion. Um, okay, why is that? You know, some people come in here every day and work really hard. They don't go around acting like a... I got put on a performance plan. I got trashed in my review. I know Sarah influenced Tim to give me a bad review. It was sheer retaliation. I didn't want her, and she made me pay for feeling that way. How am I the bad guy? 